Hey everyone, Mike here from learndevops.com.au and today we're going to be talking about HashiCorp Nomad. What the hell is it? What is Nomad? Well, quite simply, Nomad is an orchestration engine that solves the same problem as Kubernetes. Kubernetes is probably the, the orchestration engine that you've probably heard about the most. It's very, very widely adopted. It is the superstar of container orchestration. It is the the bee's knees, if you like. It's the, it's the industry default. Well, Nomad is another orchestration engine as well, and it's from a company you may have heard of called HashiCorp. Nomad does things a little bit differently to Kubernetes. In fact, in my opinion, straight off the bat, I'm going to say that it is far superior than Kubernetes. So instead of just being able to orchestrate containers, Nomad can also orchestrate executables and it can orchestrate virtual machines and even just raw commands across an entire fleet of servers. So it doesn't just handle container orchestration, which is what Kubernetes is primary. In fact, Kubernetes can only do that. It doesn't orchestrate anything else for you. So Nomad is extremely flexible. Now, this also means that it can or orchestrate existing workloads without them having to be orchestrated. So that means that workloads found in older, more established networks and large enterprises, etc. Nomad can sort of be retrofitted in and it can orchestrate and manage those workloads. So this is actually quite exciting for companies that have workloads that they don't want to necessarily containerize. Instead, they sort of want to, they want to adopt, they want to modernize their stack and they want to adopt orchestration and modern DevOps orchestration practices and tools, but they're actually unsure about the overwhelmingly huge task of leaping into a system that is Kubernetes and Kubernetes is massive. It's absolutely huge. So Nomad is, ex is ex exceptionally good at not only taking a brand new workload and orchestrating it, you can look at bringing it into an existing network as well. Java, virtual machines, straight up binaries, Docker containers, and just straight up raw shell commands. It can orchestrate them across your fleet of service for you. So it's very, very powerful from that perspective. If you want to talk about this in a little bit more detail, then I just want to remind you that if you head on over to learndevops.com.au, if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see where it says, do you want to have a chat? If you click that button there, that will connect you to our Discord server. We've got about roughly 2,000 members now, and you can have a chat about this. So if you want to know a little bit more about Nomad and you want to have a sort of one-to-one, -one, then head on over there and have a chat. So back to Nomad. It's also a lot easier to work with than Kubernetes as well. So Kubernetes is this extremely complicated system made up of multiple layers, lots and lots and lots of layers, whereas Nomad is actually literally a single executable. It's a single binary. So you just download it, you just run it, and off you go. Nomad, dash dev, run, and you have a Nomad server and a Nomad agent right there on your local system. Kubernetes, quite frankly, requires a lot more to stand up just a, a, a single local cluster to develop against. It requires a lot more moving parts, and it is a far more complex system. Far, far, far more complex. Again, with Nomad, you can literally just run it with the dash dev flag. And that's it. You've got a complete, you've got a cluster up and running on your local machine that you can assign jobs to just like you would in a product in production against a production cluster. So as a side note, this actually also means that you don't get, you won't have to suffer with the Docker desktop licensing problems that we're seeing in the Docker world where Docker desktop have now said, if you got over a certain criteria, you have to pay up a lot of money to use Docker desktop. That's stinging a lot of large businesses. You don't have that problem with Nomad. Nomad is also extremely aware of other HashiCorp tools. So setting it up with console, for example, will just plug straight on in there. So if you've got a console cluster and you want to set up a Nomad cluster to start orchestration workloads, it will actually detect console running on the local box and it will register itself with console, which will then register it with the console cluster. And it then becomes a service that is available on the network. So it's very, very aware. And in fact, if you have a console cluster set up, then you can almost completely automate a Nomad deployment, almost complete, like 98% completely automatically deploy it and just have it provision itself and talk to masters and so on and so forth. It's really, really quite wonderful. Overall, it is a much simpler, much easier system 
to use than Kubernetes. So if you are actually considering an orchestration engine for your containers, your applications, or just some shell scripts, then you might want to consider Nomad. Hopefully that was useful. Head on over to learndevops.com.au and let's have a chat. Click that button and let's have a conversation about Nomad. See you soon. Very nice.